Govi's launching two new smart floor lamps with us today. They are the new Floor Lamp 2 and the new Floor Lamp Pro. Now, those go alongside the existing and very amazing cylinder floor lamp and Govi sells what they call their basic version. That's a big lineup to choose from. So we'll be doing a full comparison, but I need to show you some of my favorite features with these new floor lamps. Both of these come with a light in the base. I think it looks great. And I love that the base light can be controlled independently or at the same time as the light in the body. I also love that it can be an entirely different effect between the two. Now the Floor Lamp Pro does even more with its base because Govi has snuck in a Bluetooth speaker at 18 watts. So it has the power to be a speaker for your television or for playing music. And I've used it with my streaming boxes and I love that it doesn't have any delay when it's playing content for my Apple TV. And there's more to show you, like the fact that I can individually control each of the LEDs inside of the floor lamp too. Plus I have access to all kinds of new effects and to put it plainly, Govi has really upgraded the lights inside of the new product. So we're going to compare the four and we're going to make sure you know which one you want to buy and put in your home. Hello automators. Thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life. My goal on the channel is to help you save time and money on your journey to live smarter. So if you like that idea, hit the subscribe button now. Obviously, you're going to be able to save money by buying the right smart lamp and not overspending. So that's my goal here today. To that end, I've produced one of our comparison spreadsheets that will give you all the details on all four of these floor lamps. Now, if you want to save a little bit of money on the Floor Lamp Pro, there's a coupon code below for a few days here on launch where you can get that for $50 off. Let me introduce you to the four lamps in Govi's lineup today. Now the first one is the basic, which comes in at 100 US. This one was released many years ago, and it's a very light and simple fixture to put in your home. The brand new Floor Lamp 2 is the upgraded version of what's called the Govi Lyra. This one's been upgraded with much better lights, better effects, and just an overall better design. Now it's coming in at $150. The cylinder floor lamp is very different from the others. It's not a light strip format and it can do patterns and incredible effects that everyone will love looking at. This one is a true fixture as it's fairly heavy and fairly tall and it's priced at $170. And finally, the brand new Floor Lamp Pro is the flagship. It's coming in at 220 US, but it also has that speaker and the base light, as well as an incredible amount of scenes and effects. And they all look so impressive because of how tightly packed together the lights are. It's the top of the food chain, and there are a lot of reasons for that that you're gonna see. To understand this whole lineup and to choose the right one, you have to understand the basics. There's a pretty good pricing differential between these. And as you move up the lineup, the pricing gets higher. Now you also get jumps in terms of sizing and the size of the lamp actually kind of correlates to the amount of light that it produces. As we move up the lineup, we get more lumens and we actually get more options for where that light goes. Now, let me take you over here. We'll look at the bases. First of all, they're different sizes. So you need to make sure, look at the space you're gonna be putting them in, make sure each one fits. But the second thing you should be noticing is that the cords, the power cables, are going out the back on most of these. Now, the cylinder floor lamp is the exception to this rule. You can actually go out in any direction, but in general, just because of the way the cylinder floor lamp is laid out, you're gonna want it heading out the back anyways. Now, what that means to you is that the lights are gonna be facing the wall with the basic and the floor lamp too. Now, I didn't say this one, did I? And that's because, look at what it can do. It can actually spin around 300 degrees in the base. That means both it and the cylinder floor lamp can be true reading lights or activity lights. And they're also the brightest in the series. Now that brightness 
comes from a couple of places. The power adapter that's providing power to all of these floor lamps is what's ultimately driving how much power is available for the light beads inside our lights. Now with the Floor Lamp Pro having that 18 watt speaker on it, we have to reduce some of the available power there. But from there, you can see this available power for the light beads and then the number of light beads that you're getting within each lamp. You can see almost a direct correlation with the lumens. The higher power lamps provide you more light and the only exception to this is again the cylinder floor lamp which just displays light a little bit differently. It's not trying to diffuse it like some of the silicone does on all these other lamps. And that's a really important point to understand. This is a silicone wrapping around what is essentially a light strip. You build these lamps by placing poles inside of the base, screwing them in using a screwdriver that you get in the box, and then you place that light strip, which is already inside of the silicone wrapper, in the gap in the pole. The one extra component is that you will get a remote with both of the new lamps. Now, these can control both the base and the lamp body. They can do it independently, they are Bluetooth based, and that's important to note because they can be used quite far away from the lamps themselves and they don't need line of sight. Of course, all of this is on top of the Govi app and the other connectivity options that you have. We'll get to that in a little bit, but for now, let's delve into lighting. As far as I'm concerned, this is the most important part of the review because if it's a smart lighting product and it can't light up your room the way you want it, then the smart features just don't matter. You've already seen how the construction is going to affect how you can use these lamps. And we've already talked about which one is the brightest. However, we did some of our own measurements and we also did some calculations to help you understand why certain lamps are gonna perform better in certain situations. Here are the number of light beads with each lamp. You'll notice that the cylinder floor lamp actually has the most and they're trying to cover a large surface area to create patterns. That makes it very different than the other lamps. But if we compare those other three, it's pretty clear that pricing follows along with the number of light beads that you're getting. But if we take that and we incorporate the length of the actual lighting element, we can see that the light beads are packed really close together in both of the new lamps. This is producing a more continuous lighting effect and it's really pronounced when we get to the Lamp Pro. In fact, you can barely tell that that has different light beads on it when you look at it. It looks like a single 59 inch light in most cases. When you compare that to the basic lamp, it's pretty obvious that you have light beads inside of that one. And when combined with the overall lower brightness of the basic lamp, it's just not as nice to look at. You're not gonna be looking at it that often because it'll be facing the wall, but it is noticeable. And this is where I can talk about something that I've been totally blown away by with these new two lamps. The older basic light and even the cylinder floor lamp to some extent, when they switch between frames in an effect, you can kind of see it. You can kind of tell that it's moving along in its pattern. But when you look at the new lamps, it feels very smooth. And in fact, both of those have such a granular control when it comes to the individual light beads. Let me show you what I mean here. When you look at the basic lamp, you get 14 controllable segments. Since it has 84 RGB lights and 84 white lights, the 14 controllable segments are broken up into six lights. As in six lights in a row, have to have the same color on them. Then when you combine that with just an older set of light beads and some of the advancements that have been made over the last three years, it just looks a little pixelated or broken up. On the other side of the coin, the Floor Lamp Pro, it has 54 segments in its body and it has another 10 in the base with the body having 162 RGB lights and 162 color temperature lights. It means you're getting segments of just three lights. So every three lights, you can have a new color, but they're packed so closely together that it's hard to tell that it's three lights. And that actually feeds into why things 
look so smooth with this light and why the light itself looks like there's no individual lights inside of it at all. But when you look at the other two lamps, uh, they have individually controlled light beads. Each one can have a different color on it and it's a pretty impressive feature on both of these. The floor lamp too has this incredible feature in it where you can color each LED individually in both the base and in the body. It's the same thing with the cylinder floor lamp where you can literally draw a picture on the map. I want to explain something that you might see in our test results. Govi has a very significant lab that they use to measure the lumens measurements that you've seen. And yet, when we took our Lux measurements, they didn't show the same values and they actually contradicted some of the statements that you'll see online. For example, the Floor Lamp Pro is actually the brightest lamp. It's going to provide the most light and you're going to see that reflecting off of walls and different surfaces. But when we measured things, we were measuring a specific point on the LED strip. That means we're not getting a full measurement. But what it does indicate is how bright the physical element is. And when you're someone who's bothered by too much light or a point light source, this will help you to decide. Now what you'll notice is that the floor lamp too, because of its density and the amount of power being put into each individual light bead, comes out very bright from that point perspective. You'll want to reflect this one off the wall. Of course, you can dim any of these lights, but at that full brightness, yeah, the floor lamp too can be really strong. Now all the rest of these lights kind of come in around the same brightness when measured directly on the device, but we did see additional brightness coming off of the Pro when we were using some of the colors. So if you're after bright colored lighting, not only is the Floor Lamp Pro going to be the brightest overall, but even just directly on those LEDs, it's a very strong light source. But let's move on to a bit of a comparison in the features you're gonna get. And this one gets interesting because you would think that the cheapest unit would have the least features. <laughs> That's not actually how it goes in the world of smart lighting all the time. We talked about how these lamps do the lighting and I think it's pretty clear that the new lamps are displaying effects in very impressive ways versus some of the older tech in the basic lamp. They're just smooth and it's really enjoyable to watch them roll through different colors and patterns. But the actual effects you get and the different features you get change what you can actually do with these. This is all happening through the Govi app and I'll explain how you can do most of this inside of Amazon's application as well. But it's easiest to speak about the differences once we understand what all of these lamps can do. As soon as you put these lamps into the Govi app, you have access to timers, schedules, the ability to control each of these lamps with a single color or with multiple colors. You can get those colors moving in many directions, and then you can let Govi take over with a number of their different effects that they call scenes. It's actually a pretty big difference in the number of scenes you get with these different floor lamps. Now the new floor lamps have the most pre-created scenes, but we also have additional scenes or effects related to music. Now, one of the things that smart lighting companies have been doing for a while is including a little microphone on their lighting product and then allowing you to synchronize the effects that they're displaying with music or sound playing throughout your home. Obviously, with the speaker on the Floor Lamp Pro, it's kind of going to a new level. That can both play the music and run a music effect at the same time. But what's funny here is that the number of different music effects available is actually the highest on the basic floor lamp. And then the slightly more expensive floor lamp too. And this gets into one of the most powerful features and one of the things that I find the most fun about Govi's lighting. I love handing my phone off to my kid and saying, hey, create an effect, make the lights look how you want them to look. You'll sit there for 10 or 20 minutes and I'll get a partial snooze. But there's actually a music custom creation mode inside of the basic 
and floor lamp too. The one that's available in the basic lamp is an incredible tool and we've seen it on some other Govi products, but you'll find this tool on both the basic and the pro today. But this isn't the only way that you can create effects for your smart lamps in the Govi app. Each lamp has a lot of different options for creating effects and for creating scenes that can be used in uh, automations and just be used going forward on a regular basis. What you might be noticing is that the newer lamps don't necessarily have all of the different options that the older ones do. A big omission here is that music custom mode on the Floor Lamp Pro and also the new AI effect generation features. What that is, if you haven't seen it, is you can actually speak with Govi's little chat bot in their app and just ask it to create an effect of a certain type for you. Then you can modify the effect and it's a really easy way to get your lighting looking exactly how you'd like it to. Now what Govi told me when I asked them about this is that the new lamps are so new and they have a bit of a different back end. So it'll take a little time to get those features into those lamps, but they are planning for them to have them. They say by the end of quarter three, 2024. Now, of course, don't go out and buy products for feature promises because technical problems can happen and companies can find that it's not even something their audience wants or their customers want. So I think Govi is going to make good on that AI one, especially because it's a big new feature launch for them, but it's a little ways out. Of course, you can ask below in the comments. I'll be happy to answer if any of these lamps have a certain feature you're after. Now, the final piece of the feature segment is that you will likely end up with multiple Govi products in your home as soon as you buy one of these. They're vibrant and obviously I enjoy them because I'm sitting here talking about them. Now, as that happens, you're gonna wanna use some of their automation options and some of their group lighting control features. Govi calls that group lighting control dream view and that's because they allow you to apply many effects in many situations to all the lighting around your home. So there's this basic dream view, which is called scenic. Now that's where you want to turn on a number of lights and have them display the same effect. That is situation one. Situation two is where you want to use music or sound to drive the effects on all of your lights. This is called music dream view and it requires what's called a lead device that uses its microphone to listen to the music and then respond. And then that lead device passes the information on to other Govi lights around your home and they do the same thing. Now the cylinder floor lamp right now for me cannot be the lead device. So that would just mean I wouldn't put it next to the music source that I'm going to be using most often. I would use one of the other lamps or another Govi product. It could still be included in Music Dream View, so it can still follow the pattern. And situation three is called Video Dream View. Now this requires one of Govi's TV backlight products that has a little camera on it that looks at your television, or it requires the HDMI sync box, which works for gaming. Those lead these lamps to display the same effect. And actually they can be set as specific points on your television. Now all of these lamps can do all of these different dream views with only that single restriction on the cylinder floor lamp. And I'll tell you that I find the cylinder floor lamp to be a little weak on the video dream view side. The reason for that is it's really only displaying one color at a time because it can only be set to one segment or one spot on your television. That's a limitation of the way Govi has built this system, but all of the other floor lamps in the series can be used for six segments around your TV. So depending on where you place them, they can be a really effective component to that video dream view. Connecting smart lamps to other systems opens up lots of options for making your home smarter. I love this stuff and the good news for this comparison is there's very little difference between any of these lamps. These all connect into the Govi app using Bluetooth and Wi-Fi at 2.4 gigahertz. The setup process is quite easy and your phone's Bluetooth will find the lamp after it's been plugged in. Then you're gonna connect it to your home's Wi-Fi and even if your home's Wi-Fi goes down or your internet has a problem, as long as you're around these lamps, your phone's Bluetooth can connect to them. That means you can almost always get control of the lighting in the room. And I don't think I've ever experienced a moment where 
where I couldn't get control as long as I was in my home. In fact, today, Govi is making sure that each of these units has some manual control. The two new remotes are for the two new lamps, and there's a basic control on the power cable on the basic lamp. Plus, the cylinder floor lamp has a little push button on it. The other and more sophisticated way to control these lights is through connecting Govi's app to either uh, Google's voice assistant or Amazon's. It should be noted that Google has uh, basic control on off brightness and colors and color temperatures, but Amazon is where the magic really happens. That's because almost all of the different features and effects that you know and love are available for control with Amazon. You can include all of their different effects inside of Amazon's routines, which allows you to turn on your lights to specific effects in whatever situation you'd like. That makes these very powerful. And for an example of what I've been able to do with Govi's lights in the past, here's a timer running on their curtain light product. It slowly fills up the lights on the curtain to indicate how far along we are in a timer that was started on Amazon's voice assistant. This stuff can be very powerful and all of these lamps can do that kind of thing. Now the biggest difference in control and automation with Amazon is the speaker on that Floor Lamp Pro. You can turn that on, change the volume, and choose the white noise coming from the speaker. That's very exciting for me. It opens up some really neat options for sound machines while you're sleeping in the evening. But all of that connectivity discussion is changing with the relatively new smart home standard called Matter. Now the two new lamps have Matter on board and the Floor Lamp 2 can already be connected to many different smart home platforms using Matter. The Floor Lamp Pro should get this feature later this year, but we don't have an exact timeline on that. Now the other two lamps are not going to get that Matter component, so that will keep them limited to Google and Amazon for a bit. What about the speaker on the Floor Lamp Pro. It's gonna be a big question for a lot of you. It's 18 watts and it gets pretty loud. It's gonna be enough for most people with music and with streaming video content. The biggest, most important thing to me is it's not introducing delays to content with any device that I've connected it to. So it's been good for movies. I've also been able to leave it connected to devices like my Apple TV for days. So the speaker isn't disconnecting automatically. You can do that in the app if you want or from your phone or streaming device. So it adds an extra step for you but you can do it and you might want to do that so you can switch back and forth between multiple uh, sources like your phone and your TV. The final source you might want to use are all those scenes in Govi's app. For the Lamp Pro, some of them have white noise effects that add an extra element to your experience. You also might generally just want it to play a white noise type of sound from the app and again, you can do that. Now the impressive thing is that the lighting doesn't have to be on at all for the Bluetooth speaker to work. Each element of this lamp is controlled independently, and that makes it very versatile. In terms of quality and overall volume levels, it's not the most remarkable speaker you'll use. It tends to be a little lower frequency balanced, meaning the high and mids can be a little lower to hear. It hasn't bothered me when watching movies, and actually it seems to balance better with those than expected. Where I hear a little bit of that balance differential is with music content, and some of my favorite songs are uh, sounding a little more bassy than usual. It's a good speaker, not unbelievable. Its power though comes from the automation options like volume control in Amazon's app. You could synchronize that with a Fire TV turning on and potentially with Apple HomeKit using Matter in the future. There's one other power that this speaker adds and that is better music synchronization. Govi told me one of the biggest complaints they get is that music synchronization is less accurate in loud environments. So if you're having a get together, it's just not gonna go as well on the other lamps in the series. However, the speaker on the Pro makes the sound source incredibly stable. So music, 
so music effects aren't affected nearly as much by ambient noise. How would I suggest that you use each of these lamps? Well, after living with the cylinder floor lamp for a long time now, I can tell you it's a great reading light. That's true because it can be very bright or it can be a little bit dimmed down if that's how you want to get down with your favorite book. Now, it's also pretty high up and it disperses the light so well that it's a great lamp for a lot of activities. It's also a lot of fun for kids and in pairs, the, those things look incredible. They change the entire look and feel of a room. The specialized effects are things that kids absolutely love. So I could see a lot of parents buying these to put them in a kid's room. And as I said earlier, they're not great as a video dream view component, but they are great in all of the other group controls. Now, since the floor lamp basic is fairly dim and doesn't do the most incredible effects, it's a budget option for a lot of people to put in rooms that aren't really bright. If you want something that is minimalistic, this doesn't really have a base and it's just gonna be a little stick in the corner of the room. It's not providing a ton of light, which is why you don't want it to be super bright in the room, but you will notice it still when it's doing its effects and it's reflecting those off a wall or the corner. Now I've had the Govi Lyra for some time and the Govi Floor Lamp 2 is the new version of that. Now it brings these incredible new features like the ability to control each LED independently and the base independently too. That makes this something for people who want to tinker with their lights. If you wanna play a little and really get your light to look exactly the way you want it to, that's the light for you. It's still gonna be reflecting off the wall but it's a lot brighter and it really makes those effects look amazing. I think a pair of these are gonna be great beside your television and those bases actually provide a lot of nice light on the floor of your room. So uh, if you want just kind of a little spotlight around a lamp to brighten a walking path, it's a great option. And honestly, the same holds true for the big flagship Lamp Pro. It's obviously the biggest and the brightest has that speaker and I think for those of you that are using Amazon in your home, that speaker is gonna be very powerful. I also think that the speaker is good enough to be used for many people with streaming devices, although you won't be able to pair a couple of those and use them as a stereo set of speakers. For those of you that just wanna have a Bluetooth speaker ready for music at all times, it works really well for that. It's always online, it's always ready to go, and it's just a simple pair request. So it's a nice combo device, but as a light, it has that really special feature where it can turn physically in the base. That makes it a great reading light as well. And it can therefore be used to create a lot of different looks in your home. It doesn't have to be shoved into a corner or reflected off of a wall. Turning it out gives me a whole host of other design options like a Star Wars themed man cave. So there you have it. If you want to understand some of the things I've said and get all the details to make your final decision, go download our spreadsheet using the link below. Otherwise, you're gonna find all of the links to these products and for a short time, there's that $50 off coupon on the Govi Lamp Pro. But that coupon's just for the launch here on Automate Your Life, so you gotta move pretty quick there. But if you're heading down the path with Govi at all, you're gonna wanna look at some of their other lighting products. You can watch our reviews of their other products in the playlist that is on screen right now. Then you can add some additional lights to the dream views you're about to make. Otherwise, thanks for watching today, and of course, live smart.